Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain, and today we're doing the top 20 free tweaks for 2014, so hang on. This one is called Priority Hub, and it's a lock screen tweak, and what it will do is put the little uh, notifications on your lock screen as they come in. Icon there, if you wanted to read that text, you could just tap it, and actually it would open it up, or you could just close it back by touching it and if it was twitter or whatever it would be there just the same you know you'd have your uh twitter icon there this one is called play me and it does have a hashtag in front of it so be sure to put the hashtag in front of the play me you see in the status bar up here it's actually displaying the group and the song name as we go along it just keeps rotating that's called play me next one is cylinder and you see as I swipe through here, my icons rotate and it looks like it's a cube or whatever. That's coming from cylinder and you can actually choose whatever you want in here. The kind of animation or effects if you want to call it uh, just from inside here. I Personally, I like the cube outside the best. That's why I use it. This one is called SMS Contact Photo 7 and that's what's putting the little photo of me beside the little message bubble right there and it'll do that in all of your message threads it's called sms contact photo 7 and i really enjoy that one the next one is called side delete 7 and what it does if you put your apps in jiggle mode and you see you get an x on everything that allows you to delete everything right from the springboard uh, you don't have to uninstall through Cydia or anything like that. It's just very convenient and a lot easier to, to delete something without having to go through Cydia. Tone Enabler lets you create ringtones directly from your springboard or device and, and save them inside settings. You don't have to sync it up with your uh, computer in order to get your ringtones on your device. And it just makes it a lot easier. The next one is called Switch Spring, and what this does is you put your apps, open your app switcher, and if you flip the home card up, it'll give you some options to restart the springboard, quit the apps, or cancel, and it's just a good way to respring the device whenever you may need to, and that's called Switch Spring. The next one is one of my favorites called Screenshot Album. And this actually has saved me a lot of grief because my photo stream has been forever clogged up with screenshots because I'm always taking screenshots. Well, now that's not the case because all of my screenshots are going into this folder called screenshots, labeled screenshots in my albums that's coming through this little tweet called screenshot album. And when you take a new screenshot, it automatically puts it in there. Very good tweet to have. Messages Customizer lets you change the color of the SMS bubble, the iMessage bubble, and a lot. you can even add a color tint to the entire app if you want to. You can change the background color. Uh, so let's go in here and look at the SMS bubbles. You see right here the iMessage bubble right now. I have it set just to a regular dark blue it shows. So let's go put it to something extravagant like pink. So now my message bubbles in iMessage will be pink whenever we get something. So now the new ones will be something like a pink, and you see they are. And you can change this up so many different ways, guys. It's called Messages Customizer. This one is called Speed Intensifier 7. And as you can see here, you've got this little scale ranging from zero up to infinity. And this increases the animations of your device. And you'll notice now that my animations are moving much, much faster. When we open something up or close an app, you see how much faster it is. That's coming from Speed Intensifier. This one is called Hidden Settings 7 and also Hidden Settings 7 Icon. They're two separate tweaks. And I'm using Hidden Settings 7 Icon to open up Hidden Settings 7. And these are the actual animations and settings that Apple uses when they tweak the devices. So if you want to turn off your parallax effect or do something with a different with your wallpaper or 
lock screen you can do that you can change things on your folders icon animations here you can change those if you want different types of animations you can just there's just a number of slew different things you can do in here you see how long the list is and it would take forever to go over it all but you can just change so much about it you definitely want to check that out called hidden setting 7 and the icon is coming from hidden setting 7 icon those are two separate tweaks now so don't get them confused the next one is called lock your app free and what this is is a way for you to lock your app see i have cydia locked and i have to actually draw this little password before it will unlock it that's coming from lock your app free now if you've ever left your phone somewhere and you're afraid a friend's going to read your messages or something like that or you don't want your uh, emails you know read by certain people great way to put a password on those kind of applications definitely something you want to check out it has its own icon so it's sort of like a standalone app i guess you could say and you see right here you got your lock your app this is the free version and you get a lot more if you upgrade to the pro version so input password again and you can change the password from here and you see you can turn it on and off for different things and if you get the pro version you just get a few more features is about the only thing that's different but this is a definitely an awesome tweet. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com and enter the offer code CAPTAIN at checkout. A better web starts with your website. Squarespace has responsive designs and that means that your site is going to look awesome across all devices regardless of which one it is the iphone the ipad the ipod a mac pc it doesn't matter they're going to be all awesome and they have beautiful templates to choose from you just simply choose your template drag and drop the content and you have your website created if you have any problems guys they have 24 7 support through live chat and email and they have plans that start as low as eight dollars a month and include a free domain name if you sign up for a year. And one thing I want to point out too, guys, is every site comes with an online store. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code CAPTAIN to get 10% off and to show your support for the iPhone Captain Show. We thank Squarespace for their support of iPhone Captain. Squarespace, a better web starts with your website. Okay, guys, this one is called Jelly Lock 7. And as you can guess, this is a lock screen tweak. And what you do, you have to touch the screen and you can see you got several different apps that pop up. And these can be customized to be whatever you want them to be. But if you swipe right, it unlocks it. If you swipe left, it gives you the camera. And like I said, you can customize those apps to be whatever you want them to be in whatever order you want them to be. Jelly Lock 7, and it's free. Another cool tweak is called Repower. And all it does is give you some more options when you hold down the power button. You are presented with a slide to power off, slide to reboot, slide to respring, and a cancel. That's come from Repower, and that's a pretty awesome tweak as well. The next one is called I App Lock, and it's a standalone app right here. We'll touch it and go inside, but it lets you set a code, and I have already turned it on for the Cydia app, so in order to get into Cydia, we have to enter a passcode. So you could set that up, say, for your message app or your email app, anything like that that you want to keep other people from reading. You could put this I app lock on that and it'll be a cool way. Once you enter your passcode, you go right on in with no problems, just like always. And that's called I app lock. Okay, guys, this one here is called Byte SMS and it's probably one of the most wanted tweaks of the iOS 7 jailbreak. Whenever it was first coming out, that's what everybody was wanting was Byte SMS. You see the little pink icon down here at the bottom right corner? That's my messages app now. It replaces your stock app with the Byte SMS app, so keep that in mind. Uh, 
Inside here, you got a lot more options that you can do. Uh, like if you were on the lock screen and you had your notification screen pulled down right down here in the bottom right hand corner, you see you got a little button there or icon. If you just tap that, it'll open up your Byte SMS features and you can send a message. You can, you can do, you know, whatever you need to do from right here and you can re do quick reply and compose. And it's just a code tweet, guys. Definitely one worth checking out. Okay, guys, this one is called Dock Shift. And you can see down here in the dock that my background on my dock is gone. And I did that using Dock Shift. So let's go and look at some of the settings. And you see here on the mode, I've got it chosen as hidden. So if we go up here and turn the Dock Shift enabled to off, now let's go back out and look at the dock. That brings the dock back. Now I've got this little trans, sort of a opaque looking background behind my dock. So that's coming from dock shifting. You can customize it several different ways. And a lot of you probably will really enjoy that. You've got a lot of different settings for the background if you want to change the, the, the clarity or the opaqueness, if you want to call it that. And it's called dock shift. This one is called Safe House, and what Safe House does is it allows you to unlock your device when you are on a safe network without entering your passcode. So right now I have it turned off. I have Pass uh, Safe House turned off, and let's go in here and unlock the uh, set our passcode right here. I've got immediately. So now. When we go in here to pass to safe house, let's go to safe house. And I'm going to turn this off so you'll see that when we unlock our device now, we'll be asked for a passcode. And you see, I have to put my passcode in. Okay, if we enable that, and you have to type in your network name there too, and then push the home button. Now when we unlock our device, we won't have to put in our passcode because we're on the safe network. That's called safe house. The next one we're looking at is called hidden wallpapers. And what this does is it adds more dynamic wallpapers to your device. You know, when you install, when you uh, got iOS 7, it came with seven dynamic wallpapers and they were right in here so right here's your dynamic wallpapers and you first you got seven well now you got 12 it adds five more this one here we're looking at it's called magic badges and you notice my badge on Cydia here is on the left corner left bottom corner of Cydia and we can move that anywhere we want to we can change the color of it we can do a number of different things by going in here to magic badges right here and it does require a respring though so I'm not going to do that but all you have to do is you can drag that badge anywhere you want it so if you wanted it right in the middle of your icon which you probably wouldn't then you can drag your sliders down here to be any color you want you see that it's changing the color of it up there as I slide these and you can also choose to base it on the color of the icon which is what I usually like but that's called Magic Badges.